Hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Stellaris as the Systems Alliance as a part of the uh, Council of Nations, a Mass Effect inspired nation in and of itself, with uh, the, the technology thief. <laughs> thief. Hi. <laughs> I I'm not. Thief. It's not my. Oh, God, here you go. Can you tell us more about that silly religion of the fall of the divine door <laughs> dominion? We could use a good laugh. Yes. That so needs to be sabotage in this game. You know what the funniest thing is? That I can kick you from the alliance. Oh. Who is yeah, I can who? kick you from the alliance as well. This is... It's interesting, yes. I don't understand. <laughs> Oh, it starts a vote. Ah, okay. Mm. Starts a vote. Give what it to our it? leaders. Lifespan 10 years. Happiness 3. Well, considering how much the uh, Screak Accord likes me, I would rather not start that vote. Yeah, they have the same uh, thing as I do, so that's nice. Private colony ship researched. Okay, let's see what the hell that thing is, because uh, I'm rather curious. And you go now here and do this. Stop destroying mm. my stop. Stop my my stop my mining station. Ah oh, god, they destroyed it. <laughs> I told you he was doomed, he wasn't aware of it. Uh. And now my fleet arrives, and like three shots later it's dead. Yep. <laughs> Cruiser there, I think. Fucking Amubas. Um, so how's the map look? How are we? How are we doing in in uh, comparison? The Holy Tebadoran Order is still. Oh my God, we are fucked. Why? What's? It's fine. I'm seriously fucked. They're spiritual the seekers. They're nice. They're pacifists. You know what? Gandhi was a pacifist, but have you played Civ V? <laughs> yes, a lot. I played Civ One. I don't know whether Gandhi was in Civ One, and I don't know what he did in Civ One. But I tell you, he what some nukes. of the shit that he's it. done in Civ Five. In, in Civ One, he threw nukes at you. So yeah, basically yeah, nothing has changed. Yeah. But actually, it started in Civ Two, I think, as a bug. But I don't know. Carried on. They actually then incorporated. It's, it's a funny story, game. right? We are talking about Civ in a Stellaris video. I understand, but uh, tell you what, if it is like twenty something episodes of this, if you're still watching, then uh, you probably don't mind me diverting off the topic a little bit. Uh, I released Gandhi yesterday. Uh, I was playing as Russia in uh, the Super Far mod, and I liberated with one of his cities and because he was dead and I uh, resurrected him basically, I think, the game. No, recalled to life, that's what it's called in the game. And uh, I released him and the, s the first thing he does is he declares war on five different players. That's great. But he has one city and one worker unit. That's his entire military <laughs> capability. He declared war on the Shoshone, on the Japanese, on the Maya, on the Austrians and on Venice. All of which have vast empires. Yeah, thousands, well not thousands, but like hundreds of units. And this guy has one worker unit, he's like, oh, go to war! Okay. It sounds like a good idea. Yeah. At the time. I mean... <laughs> uh... Okay, so these guys are on my side, is there anything I can... Uh... Yeah, they really don't like the idea of a recent agreement between us two. <laughs> so, I did Makes that sense, last right? time. Let's see if it works. Yeah. He screwed something over again. He stole my more research, something like that, didn't he? Uh, no, I um, um, switched to uh, industrial development. and I wanted to see if they actually now use the stuff they get. Ah, uh, yes. Like that, yeah. Um... Is there a wormhole station in Terminus? Uh, no. Okay, let's build one. You can build wormhole stations absolutely everywhere. Ah, these guys are idiots! Uh, excuse me? Obey me! Oh, or ethics don't, don't obey him. 20. Don't obey him, he's 
God. He's not no, worth we have to obeying. Make them speechless as well. What happened? Elamid Empire on the Vasari Star Dominion. Um, okay, Star Dominion is dying now. Who's dying? Um, the guy we were at war with last episode, the Vasari Star Administration. Administration, right, he's... What? Ah, so what? Yeah, my, my brown neighbors here declared war on them. You have to, at some point, deal with them as well. I'm sorry, but my brown neighbors, I have a slight problem with that, that sentence. <laughs> um, no, they're militarist, xenophile, collectivists. They're basically lovable space Nazis, nothing else. <laughs> uh... Actually, they're Cthulhu's. I, I can't figure out where the mouth is. There's a, I, there's a, I mean, it's slightly unnerving to hear someone say, oh, my neighbor is Cthulhu. <laughs> yes. And to realize this years after actually getting that person as a neighbor. There is something just unnerving about that. I don't know what, but there is What's something. What's unnerving about space? Space, space Cthulhu's? All Cthulhu's are space Cthulhu's, but... As opposed to uh, water-faring Cthulhu's. Yeah. Which is the same, because it's space-faring, water-faring space Cthulhu neighbors. What? Space and water is the same. Okay. Yes. We, we've Plus. established this. The Emperor said so. <laughs> so shall it be. Uh, yeah, yeah. He shan't question his word and his wisdom. Oh, slaver. Nice. Yeah, I needed that in my life. You know what? If anyone wants to make a... Oh, hello. Oh, you pay for a private colony ship with energy. Well, kind of makes sense if you think about it. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Mm -hmm. okay this? Ah, yes. Um, if someone wants to make an edited video of all the stupid shit we've said... Please, please his, don't. His last sentence... You, you, you can use that. You should use that. Build to unity. More food and less um, growth time, which means they are laying eggs all the time. Making sweet love and everything, I guess. I mean, one would assume that if you're laying eggs, you don't exactly make love, but okay. Yes, you make love first and then you lay the egg. That's how birds work. Like... At the bottom half, you know? No, but I, I I always assume that your specific species just sort of plops eggs everywhere it goes without the need for a previous... Yeah, that's true, uh... but not all are fertilized, so... <laughs> oh, I'm assuming you have technology sometimes. to fertilize eggs at a distance, Yeah, right? we have this great council, right? We need a big space station. Can you build fortresses yet? <coughs> we need a bigger space station. There's a citadel no, over there. Oh, it's stupid yes. to go to the citadel, he said. Mm. Yes, but we built it myself. Um, anyway, you have your ambassador there, yeah, right? And at some point, you just find some eggs. And then, like, what? And then behind the next corner, like, two doors are like, <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> Only natural. I'm just imagining birds laughing like that. Imagine if birds on, like, on the trees <laughs> laughed like that. I would... That would be terrifying, yes. I would not live on this planet. I would just seal myself in the basement and never leave, which is, in retrospect, kind of what I do already, but hey. <laughs> it's V and X. That's kind of useful. No, it's Z and V. It's annoying on my keyboard. God. Give me colony ships. Come on. <laughs> he says. Give me colony ships. All of the colony ships. There's like four or five different planets left to colonize. Observatory. Yes. There's actually the one, isn't there? Yeah, there is actually what? one. I'm overdoing it. Ah, oh, well. But overdoing what? Everything. Hmm. No, there's two. Okay. Oh, debris. The third one will pop up somewhere, I'm sure. Oh, leader capacity is so important. So I've and heard, that's why so I I've don't heard. like, um, by the way, the core systems mods, because it's actually... Um, Makes it redundant, yeah. Yeah, because their government forms would increase it to like by 5 or 10 or whatever. Oh, Noon aliens. Okay, let's explore the noon aliens then. Are you nuns? The nation of Mumu is, I believe, the... Mumu? Yes, it's a CGT thing. 
The Nation Comment of Moo Moo is, is uh, that's not like the ultimate name for it. Okay, I, I typed that. It's it's just like this. Moo Moo. Yeah, M U M U. Oh god, that means cunt in German. It's a uh, do duchy in England, I think. What? <laughs> yes, Moo Moo is, is a duchy in England. You, you would be shocked at all the stupid names they have over there. I have a new ship, okay, it's Dark Wanderer, okay, it's kind of shit. It's really shit, it would be nice at the beginning, but now it's just, as I said, disbanded. Uh, so I have a science ship and nothing to do with it. Welcome to my world. Pretty much what I've been doing, or what I haven't been doing for the last seven or eight episodes. Probably even more than that. Like, ten. <laughs> uh, what I also need to do is ask you again for a uh, this trade offer. One more station access for each other for 30 years. Because um, I think when it runs out, we lose our one more station. That wouldn't be great. And you said, welcome, which is interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, what's your name again? I am Moritz. Well, you should know, I mean, considering. Oh god, the texture bug again. Interesting, I never had a texture bug, actually. Uh, it's one yeah, building, well, one I, building, I, I, one I, I just one bug if you destroy a ship and then go to the galaxy view that it's just there and as big as 20 suns. Kind of funny. Never had that one. Why you not build things? And now I know what you mean, but they built everything else. Um... Here's the planetary administration. I need more core systems to actually develop it myself. There we go, 406 minerals per uh, tick, that's nice. Can I...? Mm, no. no I can't what? No. Oh, I have an observatory here already. Hmm. Well then. I like the idea of forming a federation with someone. I love federations. How do they work? I, I, very, I've seen they them work, those, but I need some, they some clarification. They're plain bad, but they're fun. Uh, okay, thanks for the uh, explanation, I really appreciate it. Yeah, you. you don't vote on wars anymore, and the leader just declares it. Uplift, perfect, I want this. In my life. <laughs> so let's get the God Emperor. Oh. Xenophobe. Uh, I'm actually going to disband you and murder you all. So, yeah, there you go. Have fun. What? Ah. Yeah. Xenophobe, nice. Materialist, fanatic, collectivist. I like that. Congratulations. <laughs> It's so funny, um, <clears throat> one of my synth, um, I actually world. built synth in my one uh, playthrough with the Soviet Union. No, it was, I have met the Soviet Union, anyway. And the, I had a synth with like four uh, ethics, it was kind of funny. Mm -hmm. Xenophobe, militaristic, um, something, something, synth, they're like, I hate everything. Build more ships, declare war. Like, Shut your mouth, please. Yeah, another snare ship. It's nice. I'm just stuck here renaming stuff. Um, Tungul, did I already oh, do that? Nah, no, I, I can't be Tungul, right? Yunkro sounds somewhat similar. And he's moving to there. Okay. What? Oh, I have one. What? God damn it. Yeah. Let's build one here as well. Bob. Oh, I'm not researching anything. Um, 
army up here, biolab. Don't quite need a farm. Uh, I guess. Naval capacity. It's kind of a waste, but. Nothing better to do right now. <laughs> mm. Ah, let's, let's do the actual infrastructure projects here to maybe fucking finally build this to max. That would be nice. And then More finally research. you can let humans in. Nope, it's full. <laughs> no humans. I, you could do a bit of resettling, you know. Nope, I actually can't. Tourism, I think... tourism, man. Yeah, as if your humans want to see Dodos, a uh, planet of it. <laughs> um, <laughs> military tourism. Huh? Um, I mean, huh? you can huh? visit huh? the Grand Mausoleum, which is just full with Dodos as well. But you know, I want to go to the. I want to go to your Grand. Uh, I'm, apologies for the language in advance. I want to go to your Grand Mausoleum and piss in it. <laughs> That's actually what we do there to um honor our leaders. Now that's just crap, but. Infrastructure press go. Um, as a little explanation for the viewers here, um, I enacted two edicts because I was near the max. And it actually spares a lot of time and minerals if I do the infrastructure stuff. Yeah, and unlike me, he can actually enact edicts without... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm making five... Having F4. to pay an arm and a leg for it. No. I have one edict, um, uh, two edicts enabled actually the entire time. Physics research grants and, and uh, free thought. Um, because the wonderful thing about my um, wonderful government is that uh, edicts. Wonderful government. <laughs> they uh, last 30% longer and are 30% cheaper, so. Oh, yes, yeah, speaking well of which, it. I should. Uh, speaking of wonderful things, that is, I should upgrade my. Uh... My stuff. My what? Upgrade my stuff. Hmm. My ships and everything. Uh... There's a level 20 tomb world here. A level? No, I mean size. Do I have robots? I don't think so. <laughs> Fuck. Actually, a nice idea to have robots now. Nope, no robots. Fucking hell. Seriously? Yeah, whatever. Can you slow Let's... down for a bit, like for one um, speed thing? Or like yeah, buy sure. one speed thing? Yes, yes, it's fine. I did. You? So. Uh, Ripper auto cannons, which is a little bit rude if you think about that word for a second. Nope, Just I will not second. think about that name. A little bit rude. Just a little bit. Uh, I do have a snare thing here already, right? This one needs a thing. Plop, plop, plop. There we go. And, uh... Oh, fucking hell, I did it wrong. Oh, I put the wrong reactor in. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Not really, uh, <coughs> designing a new ship. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, um, not, not designing a new one, just upgrading the old ones with uh, basic, uh, better uh, weapons. Weapons and fighters and equipment and stuff like that, yeah. What I like about um, Mass Effect is actually that they um, use just metal slugs, basically ray guns, just uh, not as, as a ray gun, but as a Mass Effect weapon. Yeah, I guess it is. Plus hunk of metal. Also, the uh, bomb that I mentioned a few episodes ago, he actually uh, he saw that video. Which, uh, you should all go rewatch that video, by the way. <laughs> uh, which that bomb? Is the um, Sir Isaac Newton is the meanest son of a bitch in space. Yep, 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 yep. 
I the watched that the funniest time. thing I've seen in Mass Effect. Like, that means, sure. Private, no, you no, no, do no. not. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, it, it's he said Newton, but what he means is Einstein. So he is basically. I, I love the speech because it's like this is a stupid Marines, right? It's like yeah. you think like leathernecks, like they are idiots, but no, they are, he's actually teaching them physics. Like you need that on a spaceship, obviously. But he means Einstein because um, the mass times yeah basically it gets mass by um, being so fast, and that mass gets rewritten to energy. So it's not Newton but Einstein. But yeah, it, I love that speech. It's like. You ruined someone. Sir day. Isaac Something. Newton is the meanest son of a bitch in space. <laughs> <laughs> like imagine that a little hunk of metal was like one percent uh, of lead. That static. means Impacting. when you fire this thing, you are ruining someone's day. It could you hit a ship. A it could hit a planet behind the ship. It could hit something ten thousand years from now. <laughs> <laughs> don't but it will hit it. something. <laughs> Because that is why you do boy. not eyeball it. <laughs> you are not a cowboy firing from the hip. <laughs> but in space, the ships move, right? Ah, actually... <laughs> oh, God. And space is huge. You actually hit, so hit something in space is hard. That's, that was, what, 50 times of the city bus that dropped on Hiroshima? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> uh, to call it city bus is evil enough. Uh, uh, fun times, fun times. Uh, okay, I, I was planning on settling this tomb world here. You can settle tomb worlds? What? I actually, I think I can't. Nope. <laughs> I actually cannot. I missed that, but I should go for this next time because I want this. Uh, what wonderful is they updated it. Um, these uh, wastelands adjacent effects is society plus two and physics plus two. Okay, uh, question. Yes. Happiness minus five percent. Um, terror bombings. Mm hmm. Huh? How do I get rid of it? Planet. What is it? That's terror bombing. <laughs> I'm not bombing my own planet, am I? Yeah, but other people's planets? <laughs> and that's terror bombing. Okay, because but it will go planets. away eventually. I, I yes, yes, yes. It will go after a while. Good. Uh, can I speed uh, up to medium? Okay. Yes, yes, you can. Oh, oh. Damn it, I missed that. Well, I pay a bit of money for the colony ship, it's fine. Say what? Oh. And there goes all of the money. Okay, lovely. A lot of money, I mean, the uh, minerals actually, but hey. Upgrading my ships and, what and whatnot. Oh, I, I have, have 12 stuff. corvettes here, it's kind of stupid. I'm just building battleships the entire time. <laughs> yeah, I'm mine too, but it's I have, tw I have the twelve corvettes left from like the start of the game, so it's... battleships are really not great against um these attack crafts. Mm, I have plenty of those. Yep, me too. Though, uh, the, the, if you think about it, the AI doesn't seem to have a lot of battleships ever, so ah uh, ah, uh, and they have uh, always I've have seen... less than you do. In my experience, uh, so... Yes, they have a lot of smaller ships. They, they, they tend to balance uh, quite a lot. Oh, fucking finally, my ships are upgraded. My terabots are better now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ah, this. Uh, yes, and two fighters. Good. I can combine these now. Are there any places I could colonize? I would really love to colonize some places. I would actually have to think about what my flagship is. It's a giant bird. Statue, <laughs> statue of a giant bird floating <laughs> in space slowly. There you go. I Problem know what one it is. It's a carrier called God told me to do it. With okay. a sister ship, God told me to do it again. 
<laughs> ah, let's upgrade the farm. <laughs> ah, God. Yeah, let's upgrade this farm just so shits and giggles. Wait, I have the Adar sector. That's not a sector I named, is it? Um, I don't know. I have the Oxamon Prime sector, which contains only one, no, one no, system anyway. Well, the, but I really uh, have to do, redo this, it's annoying. There's a lot of nebulas and, and clusters and whatnot in, in Mass Effect. Yep. Hades Nexus, yeah, sure, like it. Unless yeah, I already have that, do I? Should have checked down here. Nope. Okay. Ah, it's in the Mendoc, okay. Oh, research! Nice. Oh, defensive stations. Gauss cannons. Hmm. Gauss. I'm sorry. Gauss. German. Uh, is, is, why, uh, is why I'm correcting you, because there was a mod that I, that I tested for, uh, for Fallout 4, and I did a showcase on it, and it misspelled Gauss as well, which is... Uh, I noticed, how... and it's, it's like it's stuck in my head now. It was the how, only reason why I did it. How was it spelled? Uh, I think with one S or something like that. Like, yeah. So I don't know. I don't remember, but it's it was misspelled. So. which is actually not doable usually in English games. Uh, sorry, what? I didn't hear that. It was an uh, S Z. Where's wait a second? Uh, in the chat, this wonderful letter here. The B. Double S, that is. Same thing. I can't see the chat. <laughs> what? what? Press what L. I can't see the chat, where is it? <laughs> Press L. Ah, right. It's in the bottom right. This is oh, the that one. Oh, okay. bubble thing. Okay. Uh... <laughs> see, now I've completely lost my train of thought in what I was doing. Okay. Ah, renaming the uh, Hades Nexus. Yes, 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 yes. Where's wow, the, where's 190. The Get it's... the colony ship to this place. Go. Yeah. Doing nice. that. Build another battleship in the meantime. <laughs> and now, I'll tab out to see. Kelte, uh, for example. Sure, we can we can rename all of these right now. Why not? Or we can replace one. That's actually nice. Let's do that. Okay. I actually can replace it now anyway. Um, let's replace this with energy, I guess. One boss. One more. Trying to do this as quickly as I can because it's a tiny bit annoying to rename stuff on video, but if you're a slow typer, yes. No, I'm not typing at all, I'm just uh pasting in Copying. the name, so. Ah okay. Yeah, well. Uh, I'm so happy that it works with this game actually. <laughs> oh yeah. Why is this guy so happy? Come on, shit. Elden music, yeah, it's great. <laughs> ah. Trade points, genetic modification. It's time, Dodo friends. Apparently. It's time to genetically modify ourselves to be big and mean. And they're gonna over, know. you know, they're gonna fail, they're gonna overdo it, they're gonna have way too big, blear, like, um, I don't know, heads or something, and they're gonna <laughs> face plant all over again. It's gonna be a disaster. <laughs> yes. Like, no feet, like, ah, but I've been done. It looks fine, it's good. You just, I mean, they have psi power, so they, what, psi? What, what, what English pronunciation again? Of what? Psi, psi, whatever. Psi, psi okay, it's psi. It's without the P, the P is silent. The P is silent, okay. <laughs> Why is that so funny to me? <laughs> I don't know. But... The P is silent. You must be silent when you piss. 
It's actually oh, God. <laughs> in space. No one can hear you piss. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually true, but still. <laughs> So it's pronounced Ps. No, it's called it's pronounced Psy. Psy, yes. Oh, Psy. It's both correct, actually. Mm. In Greek, it's pronounced Psi. So that's where, where I'm coming from. Oh, I'm on the fleet limit. No. Why would you do that to me, game? I'm, well, I'm the fleet limit already. Oh, okay. Yeah, only. 250, it's fine. I have like 400, so. <laughs> a few more planets. Mm. Their naval capacity is inferior to ours. Uh, finally, I've bested him in something. It only took 20 episodes. <laughs> I've bested him in something. Yeah, because it's you are huge. Uh, thank you, thank you. That's, you. that's all of uh, that's what the. Um... Oh, let's pick one. That's, that's what Liara said as well. <laughs> <laughs> that's just a trade-off, right? You can have a bigger fleet and you have more resources, but you research slower, which is kind of fitting, I guess. Yep. So just blobbing doesn't really work. I mean, you actually can do it. I mean, but... it, I mean it does, though. It does. Uh, it, not if you play on harder difficulty. Oh, if you play on harder difficulty, then you get wrecked no matter what you do, in my experience. So... <laughs> Uh, like yeah, I said, in my experience, hard. though, so... Yeah, let's, let's, let's imagine we were, were playing on normal, that would be too easy, really. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm talking about the highest difficulty level, like, in my experience, you get... You get beaten, Demo whatever you do, like, you can be the perfect... Annihilated, nation. You get beaten. conquered, destroyed, <laughs> choose one, or all of them. Uh, all of them, I, I'm gonna go with all of them. Uh, can you, like, can you pause this for a second and I'll slow it down, I need to ask you a question. Okay. Yes, you have to take a break anyway. Uh, so okay, go good. Uh, before we end, one question for you. I have oh, advanced okay. railguns, which I'm thinking of not getting because they're level 4 and I have better missiles. I have like other stuff that I can advance. I can just skip over the basic railguns, right? Mm -hmm. I have armored torpedoes too, which aren't really that useful considering I'm using missiles. Um, I mean, I kind of no. want to skip over that as well. No. Uh, a coil yeah, gun 2, railgun 3, that's I'm skipping over that. Space torpedo 1, don't need that. So, question is... <coughs> Marauder Missiles, which is a level 5 missile. Yes. Or Stormfire Autocannons, level 3 uh, autocannons. Or mm -hmm. Flak Batteries. Listen to this. Uh, flak Batteries are a defensive weapon. Um, torpedoes and missiles can be countered by point defense. Okay. But torpedoes also surpasses shields at all. I am they... aware of that. And missiles don't. Okay. Missiles impact shields, torpedoes do, do not. Uh, what do you think as about far the? As I remember. Uh, yes, yeah, that, that's correct because I've played with uh, torpedoes and railguns in the in the other campaign. That I'm not I'm not recording it, but I'm, I'm playing it in the meantime, sort of between uh, the, but the recordings. Both missiles and torpedoes cannot be uh, evaded, so that's one thing. So I would yes try a mix of torpedoes because the range is actually fantastic as well. Mm. It's better than missiles. Yeah, that's a, that's a good point, but it's like level 2, I have to research all the way up to level 3 or 4, and I can get level 5 missiles. Yeah, but... But, what do you... Mm. So, flak battery is out of the question, because it's a large weapon, and it's uh, a uh, glorified and, and point defense. It's, it's No, yes. no. Don't want that. I have plenty of, of crafts and uh, plenty of like smaller vessels to defend and stuff like that. So, what about the autocannon, though? Stormfire? I uh, do have autocannons, too. Uh, it's just two railguns. Because um... they look really nice, and it's... I'm thinking back to. I'm thinking to. I'm thinking in mix. terms of in terms of law now. Maybe maybe that will give me the answer. And torpedoes make sense. Like my carriers have lasers, point defense, and fighters. The only thing um, my bombard ships have is just um, massive batteries of Tarion lances. So um, I'm it's past you. Range is uh, for a medium uh, auto cannon. Its range is forty, accuracy eighty, and it yeah, does that's... between eleven and thirty nine damage. It's not, it doesn't, it's, the range is shit. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, but it, it's, it looks incredible. It's, uh... Yeah, let's do, let's um, do both, but go for the torpedoes first, I guess. Torpedoes, the range right? is really great for okay. torpedoes. But they can yeah. be countered, so it's a trade-off, really. Mm. It's here's thing. the thing, here's the There's thing, no here's my problem, though. Weapon. I have level 4 missiles, which can be countered, and torpedoes can be countered by the same thing, so... Yep. 
Like, but I don't really want to overdo it in that respect, so, uh... I guess I'm gonna go for the auto cannons. They're armor piercing. Um, the faster your ships, you you better off with um, lower range weapons. Thing is, uh, my 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 ships have only thrusters level. Oh, they have actually. I just I level just. Three now. Uh, here's the thing. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna leave it up to the audience. Tell me what weapon do I get, uh, and I'll get that one because I really don't know which one is most law friendly and would make the most sense right now because that's what I'm kind of going off of. Is screw guns. balance and, and power and stuff like that. I'm just going to yeah, go off the, your, off the law um, thing. Set up systems alliance ray guns because it's basically the same principle as a. Uh, I have like thing. all sorts of weapons out there that uh, that they can use. So I would I would get I, would, I could get rail guns as well. But for now, I'm going to get the thrusters, which makes my ships faster. And uh, when that's done, I'm going to I'm going to get whatever the the audience tells me to. I'm just. Really quickly add one system to this thing. Uh, Valhalla threshold. Okay, I'm it's done. like Civ. Let's only do this one more turn. One, one more turn, and then let's do this. And oh, one more turn. <laughs> yep, kind of like that. I'm done though. Um, yeah, like I said, tell me, tell me down in the comments what should I get in terms of of weaponry, and I believe that's that's everything I have for for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe down below if you enjoyed this video and want to stay tuned with the series. Check out the other person's perspective. And until next time, take care. Bye bye. Bye bye.